everybody. We're now in pin number four, um, checking out some Hampshire bureaus. The guy that Dad has caught, this is, um, is this 84-3, Dad? Yep. 84-3. 84-3 is a set the bar world class. This guy is one that I love. If you study him up through his front end, he's up-headed, he's square down that top, really good in terms of hip shape, and he can get out and move. Um, Set the Bar was a private treaty purchase that we purchased off of um, all trees, and this guy is exciting. You just, he's just a good Hampshire barrel. Just study that shape, design, his ability to get out and move is extremely well. You know, these 84 litters, um, his mamas of Littermate to New World and the champion um, Hampshire Gill at the State Fair of Texas back in 2018. Um, so they just have winning in that background of that pedigree. He's just one I really, really like. The other guy that's coming up here, the Thin Belted Bureau, this is 65 1. He is also out of set the bar from all trees, and he's back on Here I Am. His mama is the 76 6 Sal, who just raised a champion and reserve champion Hampshire Gills down at the NSR Winter Type Conference. And if you guys were down there, that was quite a feat. This guy is a powerhouse. There's no way else to put this. He is just stocky in that makeup. He's stout skull, big old um, top and hip laid in him. You get behind him and that hip out through his stifle, out through his hind legs, extremely good. He's big boned, tons of center body, deep body, big rib, just a whole lot of internal mass into this guy. This is one that I have a lot of high hopes for. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, to have out going this summer. And again, I want to talk about pedigree potential right here. They are out of Outlast, which was the champion Hampshire board, the 2020 winter type conference, which was the out of the last uh, amount of semen that we sold out of Outlaw. Uh, you know, Outlaw was kind of the foundation Hampshire board uh, sired all of our uh, big first big time Hampshire winnings. And then most of our Hampshire sows go back to Outlaw and then back on world class. World class has been man of the year. Uh, he has had more winnings than probably even Outlaw had. And uh, that is a winning, winning pedigree. The little barrow that dad was pulling right there, that is 78-13. We know he's the greener barrow of the three in here. But quite honestly, this is where it's at. This is the guy that we think has the potential. He's young, he's green, but yet he's so good through that front end. He's really great in his muscle pattern. He's excellent in his hind leg structure. He's square toed. This is the guy that we think in terms of making high quality champion uh, Hampshire Barrows, this is where we're at. We're gonna have a lot of fun with him this year. The off belted barrow right here is 78-2. This is the powerhouse hog of this trio. As you can see, he's the one with the ditch down his back. He has a huge hip, a huge booty to him as you can see there, but yet he's still clean uh, and chiseled underneath that jawline through that neck and front end. He's extended in his framework. I think this is going to be the power hog. On the other hand, these three barrows all kind of look a little bit different. Let's switch to the 78-1. This is the tall-shouldered, long-bodied, bigger frame barrel. I think this is uh, where the the dash 13 barrel will end up being here in just a little bit. I know he has an ugly ear, but I tell you, all three of us have judged many a shows, and not one time have we cared about half of an ugly ear. Uh, I think this guy, quite honestly, needs to go home, get in a pin to himself, up his protein level, and you won't even recognize him. I think he's a hog that you can push and feed and will handle it structurally. He has a great rib cage set into him. He has the extra extension that you can push to be a really high quality heavyweight Hampshire Barrow.